day everyone. My name is Mahid M. Manguntaram from the Mathematics Department of the Mindanao State University Main Campus in Marawi City. Today, we are going to discuss mathematics in our world. We will start our lesson with a brief discussion about the famous poem titled The Blind Man and the Elephant written by John G. Sachs. This poem has a great analogy with how we perceive mathematics. The poem is about six blind men who were eager to learn what an elephant is. The first man who happened to stumble to the side of the elephant said that it is like a wall. The second who touched the tip of its tusk said that the elephant is like a spear. When the third approached and happened to take the trunk, he concluded that the elephant is like a snake. The fourth then reached out his hand and touched the leg and then said that the elephant is like a tree. The fifth, who by chance touched the ear, said that the elephant is like a fan. Lastly, the sixth blind man grabbed the swinging tail and said that the elephant is like a rope. The six blind men continued to dispute and though each was partly right, all were actually wrong. Mathematics is a diverse discipline that deals not only with arithmetic and geometry but also with data and measurement, with inference, deduction, and proof, and with mathematical models of natural phenomena, of human behavior, and of social systems. Mathematics is like the elephant in the poem in the sense that depending on which part of mathematics you study, you get a very different idea of what mathematics is. Because there are different aspects and representations in mathematics, it is not difficult for students and even teachers to be so focused on a particular area in mathematics and fail to see the whole picture. The study of mathematics reveals hidden patterns that help us understand nature, the world around us, and the universe in general. In this lecture, we will learn more about what mathematics is. To help us understand the world of mathematics, we need to first understand its meaning. Mathematics is all about the unbelievable patterns of numbers formed by nature and by the universe. It is all about language that is expressed in different forms including patterns, shapes, and music, among others. In a sense, mathematics is all about what our eyes can see, what our ears can hear, and even what we can perceive in our physical environment. Lastly, it is a language that we understand. Aside from this, British mathematician and writer Ian Nicholas Stewart defines mathematics in his book Nature's Numbers, The Unreal Reality of Mathematical Imagination as a formal system of thought for recognizing and exploiting patterns. Combining these ideas led us to believe that nature's patterns are not just there to be admired. They are vital clues to the rules that govern natural processes. Here are some common notions associated with mathematics. Number one, numbers and counting. People easily recognize mathematics through numbers and operations. Number two, numeric and geometric patterns. These refer to patterns observed from geometric figures or from a sequence of numbers. And number three, patterns of movement since moving bodies that follow a certain pattern can be represented mathematically. Any person can recognize the beauty of nature's mathematical patterns even without any mathematical training. Moreover, in order to understand the rules that govern nature, we may use mathematics to recognize the clues of the patterns observed in nature. Mathematics is indeed everywhere. If we look close enough, we can see hints or clues of it in nature. Let us consider as an example the ripples formed 
when an object interacts with a body of water at rest. These are composed of circles with center fixed at a point. Patterns of movements in water surface, in land formation, and even in lightnings and in trees. We also see that there are mathematical patterns in the shapes and colors of animals including their scales or furs. We also see mathematics in our daily routine. At home, some people are not even out of bed when encountering mathematics. For instance, when setting an alarm and hitting the snooze button, they quickly calculate the new time they will arise. We use mathematics in counting and especially when buying simple things like groceries or expensive ones like a car. Basic principles of mathematics are in play when making purchasing decisions that require cost and affordability of items. For students, they use mathematics in simple activities like budgeting their allowance and making schedules for studying during exams. The use of mathematics is not only limited to the works of mathematicians and mathematics educators. It can also be used in other professions. For example, all teachers make use of basic mathematics in preparing lessons and computing grades. Pilots and captains require some knowledge in computation, algebra, and even calculus and statistics in order to properly operate and navigate. Accountants, economists, and now even factory workers need to understand basic algebra and trigonometry to operate complex manufacturing electronic equipment. Most people do not realize how mathematics play an important role in their life. It is very useful in understanding various features of the human body, its physical attributes, and cellular formations. Also, managing populations and livelihood of different communities involve a lot of mathematics. Mathematics can also be seen in different events like in sports. We also have mathematics that helps in creating arts, music, and dance. It helps us understand past and present events so that we may be able to predict possible outcomes. This is particularly important in preventing calamities. Mathematics is on the list of underappreciated disciplines by most people. Many are still unaware of the need for every individual to know and appreciate the roles of mathematics, some of which are listed as follows. Number one, to help us unravel the puzzles of nature and to serve as a useful way to think about nature. With the help of mathematics, we have a chance to understand the mysteries surrounding nature. We are also able to make mathematical representations of our oceans, forests, the human body, and the world. This is important in our attempt in preserving them and taking care of ourselves. Number two, with mathematics, we are able to make arrangements and understand patterns of various behaviors. This enables us to organize patterns, regularities, and irregularities. Number three, by examining previous occurrences, we are able to predict future outcomes using various mathematical tools. Number four, meteorologists make use of mathematical concepts in studying the atmosphere in order to understand weather conditions and prevent disasters. Mathematics also help provide effective solutions in controlling the widespread of epidemics. Number five, everyone is aware that mathematics is best known for calculations. And number six, mathematics provides new questions to think about, especially when you conduct researches. When people are asked what mathematics is all about, they usually say numbers, symbols, and notations, which is partially correct. Second, people easily recognize mathematics when looking at expressions involving operations, mathematical equations, 
and functions. Third, a few people with adequate knowledge in mathematics say that it is all about the study of certain processes and giving concrete representations to concepts that are usually abstract in form. Lastly, mathematics is all about proving theorems, principles, and mathematical laws. How mathematics is done? Number one, with curiosity. The need to find answers to questions pushes mathematicians to dig deeper and conduct more studies. Number two, with a penchant for seeking patterns and generalities. When conducting a study, mathematicians seek patterns and combine pieces of information to make generalizations of particular cases. Number three, one major factor for the continuous development of mathematics is the desire of individuals to know the truth behind various phenomena. Number four, like in other sciences, there are times when mathematics requires us to undergo numerous trials and experience failure before arriving at a successful end. Number five, mathematics is done without fear of facing more questions and more problems to solve. As to who uses mathematics, first in the list are mathematicians. Mathematicians can actually be classified according to whether they study pure mathematics or applied mathematics. Second, mathematics is being used by scientists who are studying either natural sciences or social sciences. And third, practically everyone uses mathematics in their everyday life activities. In conclusion, every individual uses different mathematics at different times for different purposes using different tools with different attitudes. At this point, we will cite some reasons why mathematics is important to know. Number one, it puts order in disorder. With the help of mathematics, we can organize well. There are available methods in mathematics that can be utilized in assigning courses to teachers, arranging schedules, deciding where to build hospitals, finding strategic areas to put CCTVs, and more. When faced with this array, one may look at mathematics for possible solutions. Number two, it helps us become better persons. Adequate knowledge in mathematics may help make us better persons since it can be used as a guide in making better decisions in life. Number three, it helps make the world a better place to live in. Mathematics help explain everything in nature which in return help people build a stronger relationship with their surroundings. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you enjoyed watching. See you again for more discussions on mathematics in our world.